Hello, my friends, welcome back. Man, oh man, this has been a bonkers year. Just uh, real life obligations left and right the past couple of months. But uh, thankfully, I'm getting some free time again and I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. Today, I wanna try uh, the Leave VR footage stabilizer. Now, Leave or Live, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, I've always thought of this as a mixed reality uh, application, but yeah, it turns out they came out with a new and improved VR stabilizer, and I have to try this because this claims to work in any Steam VR game, and some games do include a spectator view for easier viewing to make videos, and those I greatly appreciate, but if this really works on every single Steam VR game, this is going to really change my entire recording workflow. So I want to take this for a spin. It sounds too good to be true, but I want to give this a shot and see how it goes. So this is their news page. Uh, smoothing is back and better than ever. Silky smooth capture of any Steam VR game that doesn't use anti-cheat and doesn't cost a significant amount of resources. So um, it says to launch the smoother launch my chosen game, then check out the leave logo on the floor to customize settings. Add window to your broadcasting software as a game capture source. Okay, well let's go desktop and um, let's uh, see here. I got some categories expanded of the games that I want to get to eventually. Okay, yeah, a uh, plum is installed. That's an escape room game, so that should hopefully be lots of uh, shaky footage. Um, okay, that's launched. So now I want to launch Leave Live. Okay. Desktop. I want to see the application. Okay. Sign in or guest. I'm going to be a guest. Okay, all these different modes. I want smoothed FPV launch. And uh, see if I can see the full desktop here. Okay. Let's see. Let's... Okay, this is the window it mentioned. Fiverr, Viver. Yeah, this is the window. So I'm going to add that to OBS. Window, Viver, Viver. Okay, let's move that below my beautiful webcam. Okay, I have moved that above OpenVR Capture, so now the footage should be capturing the window, which is a stabilized version of the game. So, yeah, I'm uh, turning my head, and it's not tilting which uh, is something that Half-Life Alex does, which helps with stabilization. Okay, cool. Let's try this out in a game. So, uh, let's see. How do I get this game started? Okay, press menu and it fades to black. Cool. All right. Touch screen. Welcome to Fulgen Quarry. Do you seek treasure below? <laughs> Deep symbolism. Way up initiated. Oh, hmm. Hello. Pleasure to meet you. I am Dr. Plummet. I am administering the trial in which you are now taking part. You know why you are here, but allow me to briefly explain the details of the test. Beneath you is a series of puzzle rooms. We start on the top floor. As you complete the puzzles, the elevator will descend to lower levels. If you complete all of the puzzles and reach the bottom floor, then you win. Each time you clear a puzzle room, you'll be given a prize. Get to the bottom of it all and you'll be rewarded the crown prize. You have one hour and 30 minutes to solve all the puzzles. If the timer runs out, then it's game over. Now then, please direct your attention to the drawer located on the windowsill. 
Touch the drawer to open it and find the principal funds inside. Money that you acquire shall be placed in the custody of your heart. The elevator is able to move when the heart is fed and loaded. All right, feed the heart cash. The heart is inside the canister. Open the canister drawer by pressing on the heart button. Feed the heart money until it is full. Okay, yeah, it's counting down. All right. It really is feeding it. Strange. Okay. The heart is sufficiently loaded. You can move downward to level one. Okay. Yeah. Strange little game here. And this is actually... Oops, my mic. <laughs> This is actually a great test because, yeah, a game like this, I feel like I'm going to turn and move a lot. So hopefully it'll be uh, relatively uh, stabilized doing this. Yeah, hour and a half for all the puzzles. Okay, well, this seems simple enough. Or not. <laughs> there we go. Um... Oh, it gave me instructions. I didn't expect that. Fill the void in the wall with all of the available shapes. Observe the colored faces on each puzzle piece. Observe the colored faces in the wall re recess. Match up all of the colored faces while fitting the shapes together into the wall. Aha, I get it. They all go in there. Okay, well, we got that first one correct. Um, okay, oops, it fell out. Okay, yellow on yellow. I should have had my index controllers. <laughs> I'm using the Vive Pro because my uh, my Valve index is being uh, repaired or uh, swapped by Valve, which I'm grateful for. So we're using Vive Pro right now. So that's blue. And uh, red and blue. Okay, yeah, so that goes in there. Kind of frictiony, blue and green. Hmm. Uh, aha! I see. I see. Okay, so that was premature. It'd be nice if those stuck together, like they if they snapped together as soon as I got it right. That would be really helpful, but doesn't seem to be the way. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, wait. I got it wrong. That's blue, not that. It's like that. Okay, that will go like that eventually. Cool. Green and orange. Right. Okay. I get it. Stay together. Yeah, it'd be nice if these, when they, when you get one piece correct, if it would just snap and stay, that'd be good. <laughs> okay, let's see if I'm missing a button here. I can reset the level. Snap turn, pass shapes between hands, gently tap the shapes to adjust their position. Okay, gently tap their shapes. So if I, hmm, okay. Maybe they mean you just kind of nudge it deeper in, like tap it like that. Okay, and then that, and then you. Yeah, that's red, it's blue. Okay, and now you. My, my tracking's a little off, I think I'm too close to my wall. Okay, that should be it, right? Done with the puzzle, press the evaluate button. Great work, the timer is now paused. Great, go us. You earned a reward, dropping to prize room now. Please wait.
Aspire. Oh, okay. I win. <laughs> Pull lever down fully. Do 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 do. You won some money. Feed the money to your heart. Bills and coins. Alright. Level two. Uh, some music wouldn't hurt, I'd say. It's kind of quiet. I mean, obviously you could play your own music, but I feel like when a game provides its own music, it really helps set the mood. Like, this is a nice quirky, silly game, and to have a soundtrack um, designed by the developer would be perfect. Let's see. Another... Sheep puzzle, it looks like. More complicated, much more complicated. Hmm. Okay, well, <laughs> as far as this game, I'm going to leave it for today. I'm going to quickly look at the footage I recorded and uh, give you my thoughts on this stabilization. All right, yeah, I just uh, checked out the footage that uh, the Leave Live <laughs> stabilization recorded, and I am really impressed so far. It looked much smoother and more stable than I'm used to seeing with my recordings. And uh, this is, I'm gonna be doing a lot more testing and a lot more recording with this. This live image stabilization is so cool. And it's a free app, which is pretty cool. I don't know if using my guest login, if I'll uh, run out of time and if I have to sign up for an account, I'll find out about that. And it is uh, like, there is a specific launch process. For example, I can't have it stabilized now with my Steam VR um, menu environment. I don't think there's a way to have it stabilized right now. So like right now it's kind of shaky, but in a specific game, it is stabilizing it. So um, that's just one tiny gotcha I'm spotting right now, but I am definitely gonna be trying a lot of this. I've been wanting something like this that works robustly with all Steam games for a very long time. I'm, I'm so excited for this. This is fantastic. And so, yeah, this video served as a quick um, sampler of this stabilization and also a very, very, very brief first impressions of the Plum game. If that looks cool to you, check it out. So, yeah, if you're a content creator, you got to check this out now for sure. Thank you for joining me and uh, much more to come. Got some very big things planned. See ya. Bye. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya.